Hello dear, in previous video you saw that how we can create the figure prefix database and with the help of this figure prefix database how we can control the look of our figures. In this video we are going to learn that if we have any problem with these figures how we can edit them or during the collection of data from site if some wrong codes are used how we can rectify them in civil 3D. Here we have two different cases. In the first case, the person who collect the data, he started from the start point and when he come to this corner, he used the code CLS. So it took this point and closed it to the start point. Later on, he took the remaining corner of the building and when we draw the figure, this corner was not included because the close code was given at point 1030 and this number was after the close code the number. So this is the one case we will rectify. In second case, surveyor start collecting the data from this corner, keep going until this corner. Then due to some reasons or obstruction, he walked back, he took this corner and he gave the close code at this corner. So software simply took the line, go back to this point and when come to this point, it closed back the line. So here, we have to add a point into the figure. To do so, we will go to the survey tab. From here, we will expand our survey database. We will open our survey database for edit. Right click, open for edit. From here, we have a option figures. We will right click over the heading and go to edit figures. Now, the figure which we want to edit is a yard. So from here, in this list, we will select the yard and you will see once we select anything here it's also highlighted in the drawing so i'll select this yard and you can see it's already highlighted here i'll right click and i will go to the property from the properties dialog box to add a new point to the figure i will select this green plus sign i will drag this down so we can see the end result here, I am going to click this plus sign. Once I click over here, you can see that a new row is added. There are some coordinates, but still there is no any description or any numbers. So, to add the description and numbers here, we will click on this little arrow. And after clicking, now we can see in the command bar that specify the point. We will go to our drawing. We will zoom over the point which we want to add. And we will just click at the center of the point. Once we click over there, you, we can see a preview of line and here we can see the point number is assigned and the description is assigned. I will click apply and OK. I will close this dialog box and now we can see that our figure is drawn properly. In the second case, we have to change the sequence of our point. To do so, we will go again to the figures, right click, edit figures. The figure name is shed. So from the list, we will select the shed. You will see once I selected here, it's already highlighted in the drawing. So to edit, we will right click and go to properties of the figure. Now we don't have to add any new point. All we want to do is just to change the sequence of the last two points. So I'm going to select this last point And from here in this icon, there are arrow to bring these points up and down. I want to take it upward, so I will click on this arrow to take it upward. Once I click over here, I can say a preview of the figure in my drawing. So to accept this, I click apply, OK. I will close this dialog box and we can see that our figure is drawn properly. So that's it for me in this video. In next video, we will discuss about the description keys Till that, goodbye, see you.